Hi guys and welcome to this magic section merge tutorial. Um, basically what this plugin does is it adds options to merge material sections. Um, and there's a lot of different things you can do with this. Um, I'm going to start with the basics. Uh, I have this ch uh, static mesh, this uh, armchair. It's got four material slots. It only has one LOD, LOD 0. Uh, about 3,500 triangles, which is fine. Um, but we can further optimize this with by merging the sections together and baking the materials down. Uh, and this adds a lot of ways, different ways to configure it. For now, I'm just going to go over the basics. And in future videos, we can go over more advanced stuff. Um, so you just pick the sections you want to merge. Um, I'm going to add all the sections here in this sections drop down. We only have one LOD, so there's only the LOD zero option here. Uh, if you don't want to merge all the sections, you can only you can pick the ones you want. But uh, I'm just going to merge them all. Um, you can usually leave this as default unless you're using emissive color. Then you'll want to add that too, so it generates that texture. Um, you can pick uh, the resolution. Um, I recommend leaving everything else as default. Uh, then press continue. <clears throat> And it's going to process LOD0, merge those together, bake down the material, and you'll see the results here in a second. So if we open this up, we have the same chair, same number of triangles, one LOD, but it's now one material. And if we look in the content browser, uh, here's the textures it generated, and it generated this material. Um, and this is just a simple uh, baked material. Um, and you can change these if you can change some of the settings in here, uh, like the normal strength and whatnot. But um, and there we go. This is this chair is now one draw call instead of four. Um, <clears throat> if we look really closely, we can see it's not exactly the same. There's always going to be trade offs when you bake down the material, um, especially this one that's using detail texturing and is doing a lot of UV scaling. Um, and, the, and the source textures aren't that high a res. Um, but there's actually something we can do. To not necessarily fix it, but to, to make it look a little better. Um, so this is the original. You, the detail is probably not going to come through on the YouTube video, but uh, it's it's missing a tiny bit of detail. So let's let's do this a different way. Um, what I'm going to do is find my content browser. I'm going to delete everything I just made. So that was the basics. This plugin just merges material sections. Um, Delete everything we just did. I'm going to duplicate this because I'm going to make some changes. So right now this chair only has one lot, lot zero. Um, well, I want to add another one. So let's do that. Number of lots, one. Let's change it to two. Apply changes. And now we should have two lots. We got lot zero, which was what we had before, and lot one, which has ha half the triangles, but it still has four material sections. So if we want to keep that detail on close-ups like LOD0, what we can do is only bake uh, the LOD1, only merge the sections in LOD1. So how we do that, since um, first uh, before we can do that, we have to make LOD1 editable. Because right now, if we try to do the merge sections on it, you'll only be able to select LOD0. And that's because LOD1 is auto-generated based on LOD0. So anytime LOD0 changes, that means LOD1 is going to be regenerated. So we can't really make changes to LOD1 and have them persist. So the way we can we can, we can can change that is opening up this. There's this option called Make LODs Experiment uh, Editable. Um, and if we click that, basically what this is doing is behind the scenes, it's exporting log, LOD1 and re-importing it back in and tricking the engine into thinking that uh, LOD1 is actually not auto-generated. And so that now when we edit LOD0, LOD1 will automatically update. So if we open this now, there's a bug that it uh, is kind of built into the engine where it's going to import these materials again, which is annoying. But we can fix that by just going to LOD1 and changing these materials back to what they should be. Um, and then we can delete these extra materials it imported. So now we should have. The same as we had before, but now it LOD1 won't be auto-generated when you click, uh, when you edit LOD0. So now we can do something really cool. When we merge this, LOD1, we're going to leave LOD0 the same so that on close-ups it still looks really good. It'll be four draw calls, but that's OK. Uh, let's alt add all the sections, and let's bake down LOD1.
Okay, now let's open this up and take a look. Uh, so it's got five material sections now, and LOD 0, we can see, is still using... Where's sections? Still using all four materials so that it looks good on close-ups. But then if we look at LOD 1, we can see it's only using one material. So LOD 4 will have four... Sorry, LOD 0 will have four draw calls, and LOD 1 will only have one draw call for this one material. Um, and you can do that. You can change this to where you want so that it starts at lot three or whatever. Just generate three lots. So now we can do something else that's uh, really cool. Um, I just found out you can do this actually, but we can change the base lot that lots are generated from to lot one that only has one draw call. So there's lot one. And now any more lots we generate it will be based off of lot one, and they'll only have one draw call instead of based off lot zero where it has four. So let's change the number of LODs now to, where's number of LODs? Uh, let's change it to like five. So now we're going to generate five more LODs. Let's apply the changes. So now we have five LODs. And if we look at LOD 2, it's only 800 triangles, and it should be one draw call. Yeah, it's only got the one section. So all these LODs after LOD 1 now will have one uh, one draw call. Uh, but LOD 0 will still have 4, so that it looks good on close-ups. And you can mix and match this as, as desired. Um, so that's the basics of what this plugin can do. Um, I'm going to do some more videos on uh, some more advanced features and how to configure things. But uh, let me know if you have any questions.